Good night, scrappers. <laughs> what I've got here is three copper yokes out of a projection TV, a rear projection TV. Let me show you what those look like on the internet real quick. It's gonna be a TV like these. You might see these laying around somewhere. And on the back, there'll be like a particle board. It's got holes in it. You can see it down there. See that dotted board? You can take a couple screws out of there and it opens up real quick. You just uh, basically get a hold of it and rip it off of there. It's no big deal. And you probably will see those on the curb and stuff. I've seen, I see less of them now than I used to. Um, but there's still a lot of them around. And let's see. This is what they will look like in the bottom here. And there's nice chunks of aluminum in there. And nice little transformers and all kinds of insulated copper wires. And... Uh, other little doohickeys you can sell in there for electric motors and little pieces of aluminum over here. And what you can do is you can get a hold of, uh, oh, look at it. You can get a hold of, say, grab a hold with your like diagonal snips, your diagonal pliers or a pair of pliers or what have you. You can grab a hold of one of these pieces of aluminum. And just yank on it and sometimes the aluminum will just come off but other times that whole the whole circuit board will just come flopping out of there those circuit boards aren't holding there with much so you can just grab a hold of something in there sometimes i grab this uh deal here i'm not sure what it's called um all i know is i can sell it for electric motor for scrap yard so i i call it electric motor even though that's not what it is but uh Grab a hold of this with your hand, and you can just yank that out of there. And, and usually these circuit boards, they'll just come flopping out of there. And jig, see over here on the left, there's uh, big chunks of aluminum over here. You grab that with your diagonal snips and uh, just yank on it, and that'll come out. And usually these circuit boards will just come ripping out of there. See here, here, and here you can see the circuit boards on the bottom of those copper yoke uh, on the lenses, on the tubes. There's three of them. So basically, they're upside down in there. That's another good view. Most of them are a little different inside, but they basically all have the same deals. So what I would do is I take that back pegboard off. I grab a hold of a piece of aluminum with my diagonal stiffs and just yank on it. Usually, the first one will come out by itself, and then you yank on another one. And usually, that whole circuit board will come flopping out of there. And there's more aluminum over here, and you can see all the electric wires. And this one's built a little different. It's got this up here. It's got over here another one, a little transformer. Transformers are smaller on this one. But uh, what I used to do is just I have my snips in my hand, and I would just bang. I would just break these pieces of glass. And I don't know if there's toxic chemicals and lead in the glass like there is in uh, old CRT TVs or not. But uh, if you can just take a few more minutes and do it properly, like I'm about to show, I don't smash them out of there anymore, but I used to just smash them. And when they and when they would break, the copper yolk just flops right off. So you would like smash it here and the copper yolk drops. Smash it here, copper yolk drops. And then smash it here, copper yolk drops. And you snip a few wires. And you can clean those out real fast. But, uh, just take a few more minutes to do it, clean them out there properly. We're just showing static. And uh, let's see if I can get another good picture. Usually they're real dusty in there. One thing I want to show you real quick. Uh, what did I do with it? There it is. This is. I've never seen this before. I found this while I was looking for the, uh, while I was looking at it on Google. This I've got to with this piece of wood, and when the light <laughs> makes contact, I've got instant fire. The sunlight for sure. That right there that this guy has built is the screen off of one of these TVs, and I've never seen anything like this. Look at what he's doing. Position my frame and found the focal point, then added some <laughs> concrete tiles. He says it's 2,000 degrees. Okay, I've got power, and I'll test it out with this piece of wood. And when so, the light uh, makes contact, wow. I've got instant fire. Look at that. The sunlight at this spot is around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Enough to melt this spot of concrete into a <laughs> orange liquid. 
I'm curious to see what I can ah, do with all so... this heat. So I filled a glass bottle with water wow. and I'll punch a hole in the cap. It's incredible to see that the instant I focus my lens on the bottle, it starts smoking. Oh, Just look at a that. few moments later, that the water is so hot it's boiling, and I'm a little nervous the bottle might blow. Yep, Whoa. there it goes. The glass pieces are melting, and that's cool, but now I want to try this on some food. <laughs> I'll eat some hot dogs, and when they hit the beach, it's going to burn them. This might feel wow, good. Wow, look at that. Taste, and I'm still hungry, so <laughs> let's try an egg. The egg is actually working very well. It's so reflective, it doesn't burn as fast, and even my wife is interested. A little salt and pepper, and it's tempting to try it. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't actually expecting to eat this, but it looks safe enough, and even my kids are anxious to try. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. All right, let's see what else this will do. I'll try burning a penny and... A penny? Oh, wow, you're kidding me. How about a stack of pennies? Wow. Yep, they're nothing but liquid metal now, and I'm thinking that slag in the mixture must be what's left in the copper wow. coating. It's only taking about four seconds to melt these, and melting metal is really great. That's but amazing. now I want to see something first. I wonder what would happen to this egg. It's spewing some kind of debris and smoking like crazy. <laughs> I hear some little pops and it's even forming some interesting growths. Oh, look at that. But no explosion. How about if I put a pop top on this bottle of water and let the pressure build up? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's do that again. The lid is wow. back on and pressure is building. Awesome. All right, the sun is setting and I readjusted my A-frame. I'm just wondering if this would ignite gas. <laughs> it does. Hopefully it goes without saying that this is very dangerous and you shouldn't try this at home. Well, I'm convinced there's an insane amount of power behind these lenses. If you'd like to see where I got this one, take a look at my video on how I hacked wow. it out of the TV. Well, give this guy a little props. Who's this guy? I don't get to his video. What's, what's the, the king of random? I'll put the link to this video down in the description of my video if you want to check it out. Burning stuff for 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit solar power. So that's pretty amazing stuff. What do you think? Um, so actually, there is a practical use for that. If you, I mean, you could make a little uh, cooking stove out of that, you know? So put like a pot on a piece of iron, big slab of iron, you know, and put the pot away from the focal point. And you could boil some water. There's definitely a practical use for that. It looks pretty dangerous, though. But uh, I thought that was pretty wild. I'll share that with you. All right, let's get let's get to scrapping these guys out. I see these are a lot like a glass CRT TV uh, TV that I've showed before. Um, like I was saying, I don't know if there's the toxic vapors and stuff inside those tubes, like there is in a CRT TV, because it's illegal to bust a CRT TV open at the glass tube, and that that looks like a little CRT TV right there. There's probably lead in there at, at a minimum. But uh, anyways, take just a few more minutes and you can do it properly. I, I uh, Like I was saying, so these are in those projection TVs upside down. Well, not upside down, but upside the other way around from what I've been showing. So uh, what I was saying in that video is I used to just, just whack them right there. And uh, Grizz, careful. Just whack them right there and that copper yoke just falls right off. But uh, like I was saying, do it properly here. Just take just a minute or two, I think. I've never actually done this before on these. I just stopped messing with them. But uh, I found these in a uh, video a while back. And someone had taken apart a CR or a projection TV, totally dismantled it. I've never seen these outside of a TV case before. So I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if they weren't after the screen for one of those solar deals that, we, that I just showed. I didn't know that that was going to be, I, I hadn't watched that video, so I was watching it for the first time with you there. But uh, you just take, loosen those two clamps and then, uh, I don't know if there's a way that these actually come off, but I just always just go like this. I just go right through them. I got cats around here, so I need to... Uh, the container over here. One eight little bits around here. <laughs> like I just said. You guys, well, actually, that's not too bad. You want this? What is? What is? What is? That is. But you 
Now, obviously, I don't get the chance to show this on video because I can't really bring a giant TV into my apartment. And uh, even out there in the field inside the TV, you really can't get a real good look at these because all you can see is from like here down and then on the top you can just see just see the lens sitting there like that and i actually looked on the internet and these lenses are actually for sale on the internet there wasn't they weren't worth a whole lot and they probably probably don't even sell but <laughs> they definitely are for sale on the internet replacement parts for these tvs but you know i mean as time goes on with the uh high quality flat screens we have today you know uh get a real nice big one for 300 bucks now so i don't know who's gonna buy replacement parts for a lower quality tv but some of might okay so i just kind of came off there like that i can just throw that in with my tin shred a little bit of copper on there i'm not gonna mess with that but uh let's see we get a better angle like this so of course the more you do this the more uh, experienced you'll be there was a little tab on that one holding that on there so the faster you'll be able to do it over and over and over but uh Oh, that was already ready to go. Look at it. So there it is. Just that. I mean, you could do that in less than a minute. But uh, that's some nice copper in there. That's definitely worth going after. I could sell that just as an electric motor as it is. I don't need to process process that any further. And uh, it's like a pound and a half maybe. But what I'll do is I'll just take these outside on the cement, and uh, I can just smash them with my foot i just just go like that just put the heel to them and they'll, they'll crack apart um this black matter metal you can throw in with your tin shed it's magnetic um you don't want to crush this stuff indoors like i am now because there's a dust that comes off here and uh it's bad news like if you crush it so i just try to stomp it with my foot outdoors and uh, one or two, three good smacks with the heel of your foot. This will bust apart. It's, it's nothing you want to breathe if you're smashing it inside. Just throw that in there like that. And then uh, we got left over here. A glass tube. It's like a miniature CRT TV, kind of. So uh, with the CRT TVs, the most of the lead that's in the glass, it's the lead glass. Um, most of the in the CRT TV, the, the the most of it, like 80, 90 percent of the lead in those CRT TV glass tubes, is going to be in the funnel right here. So like right in, right in through here. And unfortunately, I know some scrappers, even myself, a long, long time ago, I would just take to a CRT TV. I would just take a wrecking bar and I just smash the back off of them and whack them there <laughs> and. Uh, there would be glass stuck inside the copper yolks. I'm saying this because there's probably people out there doing that still. It's like lots of times there would be this glass stuck up in these copper yolks, and I'd take these copper yolks somewhere else and smash them, and that dust would be flying around. Just this is bad news, man. Um, you don't want to breathe any of that stuff. And the bad thing was is <laughs> where scrappers smash them, and a lot of times people like confuse people. They don't know what I'm talking about when i talk about there's lead lots of times scrappers will smash these on a big crt tv they'll smash them and they'll break right here and that glass dust there's fine glass dust that floats up off there and that's where all the lead is and people breathe in that lead i've said that before and i've seen people in the comments talking about you can't breathe lead but what i mean is if you smash it with a wrecking bar there's definitely a dust that comes off of that glass a little glass dust and the only way you notice it is if you're in a, say, a 
unventilated room like a storage unit you can see it floating around in the air so <laughs> i wouldn't lie to you i don't have any reason to about that anyways just don't smash them you don't have to nothing to worry about at that point but uh let's see this one's got the circuit board on it so we'll do him next so this is what you were seeing in that what i was showing you there on, on that site when you see these out there there'll be all these wires see so i'm gonna cut all these wires there's tons of these little wires all over the place in these things and that's just the junk wire but they're really easy to cut and there's a lot of them in there but uh like i was saying i would just whack them just whack it right there and they break real easy whole thing drops off but uh I'm more refined and sophisticated of a scrapper these days, so and I don't know if this is illegal like a CRT TV to break or not, so we'll just stop doing all that altogether. What do you think about that? Well, that's how that comes off. <laughs> just pull that straight up off those prongs. I was going to snip this cord before I did that. There's that. But these can be done real easily even doing them properly it can be really easily done so i would just say take a minute or two it's not worth getting a snoot full of lead glass dust in your sinuses little stain i think those are stainless steel i don't have my magnet up here That'll come prepared next time. What do you think? Actually, it's actually that's an aluminum. Look at that. It's definitely aluminum. Well, not definitely. Let's see. Now I start talking about it. Let's see. The refrigerator magnet tells me it, it, yes, that is an aluminum. I'm not surprised they weren't stainless steel. Definitely aluminum. So, we say for you want to come and say hi on TV, on camera for us. Come down here, Merle. Dad, hi Merle. What's this, Merle? What's this? What's this? What's this? Sniff it? You want to sniff it? It's dusty. Don't sniff too much. It's dusty. What's going on, boy? You... Hi, Grizz. There he is. Hi, Fuzz. There he is. What's going on, Fuzz? You got eye boogers? You got eye boogers? Oh, I can't touch it with my dusty hands. That's gross. Stop it. Okay. Oops. Definitely should be done somewhere else besides your living room with kitty cats and a dog around. But maybe if I finally get a housing loan, I can get a little garage with a workshop set up and make proper scrapping videos. What do you think about that? My storage unit is. I mean, they're really not supposed to be a, a workshop, you know, it's a storage unit. But there's not electric in them. There's no electrical outlets in them either. This one seems to have some sort of mechanism that I popped last time. There it goes. Well, some kind of little plastic tab holding on in there, I think. But, uh... Little tabs on these guys. Anyways... I'll just smash these apart with my foot and uh, those might be if they're a little too tough for my foot you can just just take a bar to them smash them you know you could probably just surprise something you could just throw against the inside of a dumpster and it'll just crack apart you know, lots of different ways just break that apart and these two pieces in here will just flop apart out of that plastic 
and then there'll be some copper wound around the black now you can get kind of a look at it inside there there's copper little copper wires wound around that black material I think someone was calling it ferrite on there or something like that the black material but uh, every bit of this except for the plastic can go to the scrapyard You think, guys? Eh? Well, I got eye boogers for this. Come here, Grace. Say hi, Grace. Grace, up here. Grace. Grace, up here. Look at this. What's this, Grace? Grace. Grace, here. Grace, this way. This way. Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> Say hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. Up here, Grace. No, you don't want to. What's up, Grace? Got eye boogers. What's got eye boogers? <laughs> Careful, Phil. What you doing, Grumpy? This is Grumpy. My name's Grumpy. Alright, just for fun of it, let's do the third one. Third time around, I should be just a little more experienced and a little quicker at it. What do you think? One clamp, two clamp. I could skip that part, couldn't we? Let's see. Yeah, I could skip that whole part like that. Let's learn something new right there. What do you think about that? All right, so obviously it can be done really quick if you want to. A lot of us just, with the scrappings, this experience. That's why I'd like to get a little shop set up and uh, get some little systems down for processing electric motors and transformers and stuff with copper and brass plugs and that kind of stuff just some little machinery going make some good scrapping videos i'm pretty limited where i'm at now okay final thing i'm gonna say and i'm not sure if it's true but i'm pretty sure it is on crt tvs often people will say you can get shocked and people say you can get electrocuted and shocked but most crt tvs as far as i know they have a uh, a switch on them that that uh what's the word for it takes all the takes all the uh, electricity out of them the words escaping me but from what i've heard from tv repairman the place where you can get shocked on a crt tv is underneath this little suction cup deal if you get your if you get your screwdriver up in there i don't know if it's true or not but that's where you'd want to be careful tv repairmen say that there's a, a discharge mechanism in them tvs after like uh 30 seconds or a couple minutes or something so any, anything you see sitting around out in the streets pretty much gonna be discharged now i'm not a professional but that's just what i heard Anyways, that's why they put those discharge mechanisms in those TVs because I'm sure back in the day some people did get did get shocked and electrocuted and zapped and that's probably where the probably where that I don't want to say urban legend comes from because it probably what used to not be an urban legend but as far as I know they corrected that issue. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching. What you want? What you want? What? What you want? What you want? <laughs> they call me Grumpy Cat because I'm grumpy. And, uh, <laughs> don't sit in my chair anymore. That's my chair. Give me my chair back. Give me my chair back. You're a pretty guy. You're a pretty kitty cat, though, ain't you? Huh? Pretty kitty cat. I'm a pretty kitty cat.
What? Yeah. You now you grumpy? Now you yelling at me? Yeah. What? 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 You so demanding. Yeah. Boy. Dude, you want that's your chair, you want it back? Yeah.